Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Tina Marie and if you are new here, welcome. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And if you guys don't know about my content, if you're new here, I am all about fragrance and beauty and so much more. And uh, if you just like my videos, just don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bar so that you don't miss any videos like this. And today I am doing a bonus video for everybody because there was a recent sale online and even on store in Victoria's Secret and it was um, $6 each uh, item for body mist or body care in their store. And I thought it was a great opportunity to buy a few things for you guys and review them because I feel like it's a better way to save up money and just budget yourself if you want uh, to give something to someone or even for yourself if you want to smell great or layer your fragrances to make them last longer, but you don't want to break the bank. This is a perfect way to do it. So I got uh, four scents that they had from their body mist that I thought they were pretty unique and they're new in their collection and some were like limited so I'm not sure if they're still around um because the sell was like last week but just check online because they usually have them there they have more stock that in store so I'm going to get onto it right now so my first body mist that I'm going to be talking about that I found very unique and it is one of my favorites is the Victoria's Secret Pineapple and Shia Glow this one just smells really, really good. And I'm going to spray it on the tester strip that I have here. And this one is so like fresh and it smells like a pina colada. This one on the back, it says uh, pineapple and chia, botanical inspiration, complete happiness. So I know that this one gets off like that coconutty salted uh, pineapple vibe that you get from like a vacation and you get a cocktail like that pina colada in a coconut and it's very refreshing it's uplifting it's very citrus and it's very like creamy and it doesn't give off that um sunscreen vibe when it comes to the coconut note it's more of that realistic coconut scent that i'm picking up with that saltiness of like the salty breeze from the beach and you could smell the texture and you could smell the vibe of this vacation and it's just so beautiful and i thought it was very very unique and i also got the uh body cream right here and it says it has 24 hour uh hydration or moisture and this is from their uh lux uh side of the body care that they have this is not like with the cell that they were having this was completely different this one was buy one and get one free so that's why i got the body butter to go along with the body mist and they did have another one that i really like i don't remember the name of it it was a purple one um i think it was pomegranate and that one was really good too but that one sold out but for me this one's more unique because it's pineapple and i never seen it like fragrances that have that pineapple note at least they're not very popular out there but this one is just very unique, very beautiful, very uplifting, happy, and it's good for summer and it's good for those vacation days that, that you know, you're planning to take and you could just carry this with you in your suitcase and be ready for a great vacation. So that's that. And then there's another one that I like too, because it also represents something very tropical. And I'm talking about uh, Victoria's uh, pink line. This is tropical nectar in this one alongside with the cream they were on sale uh buy two for 24 dollars this was not from the regular victoria's secret side where you buy um you buy two and you get two free or they weren't six dollars this wasn't from that line this is from the pink line and this one is really unique because it does have that mango note in it and it does have other tropical notes it says right here it has uh passion fruit it has uh breezy palms and mango nectar but all i smell is the mango note in here and i'm going to spray it on another tester strip and it's a very juicy mango and i could smell like like a little bit of a spiciness to it but very so slightly and it just reminds me of that mexican pastry that um they do with mango and they add tajin on it and they put other stuff in it to create this very tangy mango uh salad fruit with tajin and it's just very yummy it's it's like a very uh realistic mango too just like the pineapple those two just smell realistic when it comes to the pineapple note the coconut note this one the mango is is smelling like a legit mango and it's very yummy 
and it just gives me summer vibes and i just highly recommend just checking that out because it's just like mouth watering now for my next one is also from the pink line and this one is called candy hearts this one i enjoy a lot because i have a favorite um perfume that i use right now and you guys all know that right now i'm into the killian's love don't be shy this one's kind of an inspiration to that um i could layer it with my perfume and this one has raspberry macaroon uh sugared pearline and silk pjs i don't know what silk pjs mean but it's not giving me silk pj vibes it's giving me more of like a very happy feminine girly vibe that gives me like that very uh fruity and cotton candy note and i really like it it's also uplifting i feel like all of these body mists are very uplifting very comforting and i do smell that raspberry and I don't get that raspberry macro no, but I do get that raspberry juicy and uh, kind of like that um, saltiness to it. Cotton candy in there as well. Cotton candy usually smells a little bit salty with sugar. And it's just so yummy. I, I really like it. I really enjoy it. And I feel like it's very unique. Very unique from all of these uh, that I have reviewed right now. So for my next one, and it's also my last one, it's the Sunset Gelato. And this one I got because I also love, um, what's it called? Pistachio Fragrance Notes. So this one has pistachio gelato, caramel drizzle, and sea salt. So I was like, okay, if I like Kaoli's uh, Yum Pistachio Gelato, um, maybe this is going to smell the same. And I was like, I need to review it for everybody that loves that fragrance. Maybe this could be a dupe. However, um, when I tried it, it does not smell like a dupe. It smells completely different. It reminds me so much of Charosa 62 by Sol de Janeiro. I feel like these two are sort of a dupe. So I'm going to spritz uh, this one on a tester strip and then the other one as well. So we can try them back to back and see the comparisons. So this one, I smell right away like um, a very nutty uh, pistachio note. Kind of giving me that um, almond vibe, but not the almond that smells like cherry. This is more like the almond that smells like that nutty, roasted, salty nuts. And it's just smelling so good. And I could smell that um, the sea salt in here and the caramel when it dries down. I could smell that as well. And it's very refreshing too. This one's a very happy, um, I don't know, pistachio scent. And now I'm going to try the Sol de Janeiro 62 on another tester strip and i'm gonna put it right here on this tester strip and this one is more of a gourmand because it's sweeter and i do smell like the pistachio and the salt and the caramel as well at same notes but the ratio of the um raw like ingredients in this one it smells completely different. I smell like the caramel is more prominent and the salt as well, but not so much of the pistachio. And with this one, it's more uplifting. It's more like about the pistachio. And then I smell the salt and caramel, like just like sitting in the back of this body mist. And this one, I feel like yeah, like the caramel and the saltiness come out like in the first top note and then the pistachio sits on the back. So I feel like the notes in Sharosa 62 is kind of like backwards in the sense of like how um, the caramel and the salt notes start off first as the top notes and then it ends with the pistachio. And with the Sunset Gelato from Pink Victoria's Secret, I feel like the pistachio starts off as the top notes and then Later on, it dries down to that caramel salty notes. So I say if you already have Charosa 62, I don't feel like there is a need to buy the Sunset Gelato. Um, but if you are a fan of this one, and obviously the price range is completely different. This one, of course, is going to run in like maybe the $30 range or more. And this one, you could get it on sell for like $12 or $14. Um, that's how much I pay for this one. So you could kind of see the difference also with the ounces. This one was around $14 for three fluid ounces. And this one's 8.4 fluid ounces for the same cost. So, you so could don't forget like to subscribe on the button below in Marie the Artist and press that notification bar because this weekend I do not want anybody to miss my product reviews because this time it's going to be for hyped up makeup products that have been launched recently. And I'm talking about 
Glossier's Cloud Paint uh, Bronzer, and other products that I have here, which is Patrick Ta's new blush. Um, I have the three colors, and I do not want you to miss that one, as well as the uh, Patrick Ta um, Rich Plumping Lip Gloss that I have here, and I got other shades as well. And I have so much more to share, so I don't want you to miss so it. So thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel. Bye-bye.